are numerous and impressive, but there are two particular accomplishments that we feel deserve special attention. First, in the ever-changing political and social atmosphere surrounding our young people today, especially our young women, it is difficult to negotiate a path to adulthood. Commissioner Burry's commitment to serve the people of Monmouth County serves as a roadmap for how to lead a meaningful and successful life. Mrs. Burry has demonstrated that it is possible to have it all, to marry, to raise a family, run a business, serve as an elected official on the town and county level, and champion the causes that improve the lives of others. Second, please take a look around you. You are surrounded by people who know the meaning of service. You're seeing the veterans of the United States Armed Forces. Perhaps most important of Commissioner Berry's outstanding career is her advocacy for veterans of all ages. Commissioner Berry was appointed to the Fort Monmouth Economic Revitalization and Planning Authority. She served as vice chair. She was also appointed to the Fort Monmouth Economic Revitalization Authority, where she chairs the Veterans Subcommittee. To address veterans housing, the commissioner formed a bipartisan committee that in 2001 resulted in the Soldiers On, a $23 million, 70-unit, four-story facility on Essex Road in Tinton Falls. And in May of this year, the woman's wing of the facility was dedicated to Commissioner Berry. So Commissioner Berry, on behalf of the Monmouth County's lovers of open space, library users, history buffs, environmental protectors, students, homeowners, lovers of the arts, and most of all, our veterans, we thank you for all you have done Monmouth County. In recognition of your last, lasting impact on our lives, Michelle Donnelly, Regent of the Middletown Chapter of the National Society of the Daughters of American Revolution, will present the National Award to, of Women in History to Muriel J. Smith, accept the award on behalf of the Commission. Yes. Captain Smith at Naval Office Station Earl, to Chief Warren Officer Apple from her favorite Coast Guard base over there on Sandy Hook, to Commander Smith Hillman, um, who heads up the Naval Science Program at Mass. Um, you all should be up here because Lillian wants you to have the award. I talked to her yesterday, by the way, Lillian was at home working on papers for something for the county. She stood up, she slipped on the papers that she was working on, She's in the hospital with a couple of broken ribs. Um, she expects to be home today, <laughs> but she said, but her husband Don, the coastie, would not let her come here today. <laughs> he said, nope, you're gonna go home and you're gonna rest. Um, but she asked me to thank every one of you because deep in her heart, you know that it's the veterans that mean the most to, to uh, Commissioner Berry. She loves every one of you. She's so sorry she can't be here today. Um, because Commander Smith Yeoman is here with her magnificent uh, cadets from MAST who did your incredible <laughs> And I think the Commander has a few things to say about how Lillian kind of helped MAST get uh, to the place it is today. <laughs> it's no doubt that, um, it's no surprise that uh, Commissioner Berry has always been such a big supporter of the military um, and she's been such a huge supporter of Monmouth County Vo Vocational School District, of which MAST is the, the premier school. We were actually, um, the Marine Academy of Science and Technology at Sandy Hook was actually the first career academy in the state of New Jersey. 
and now many counties have these wonderful, wonderful schools. Um, but our school would not be where it is today, number 14 in the state, number 165 in the nation, without the support of Commissioner Barry. One of the things that she has worked very, very hard for over the last few years is to try and get us an indoor space that's large enough for all of our cadets. And right now we're at 272 students. They are all required to participate in NJROTC. It's kind of like the draft. They don't have a choice. Um, and, but they love uh, it. But they love it most of the time. Um, but we don't have an indoor space. We don't have a gym. We don't have an indoor space large enough to gather all of our cadets at once um, and to be able to do things like the marching that we do and ceremonies and things like that. So Commissioner Barry, as um, <clears throat> part of being one of the county commissioners, but also because of her responsibilities with Fort Hancock and re-envisioning that Army post for the future, um, worked very, very hard to secure us two buildings. So the one smaller building has now been turned into an indoor supply space. We have over a million dollars worth of uniforms and gear um, in this one old army building um, where we had had shoved into trailers before, shoved all over into the corners of the campus. So it's wonderful to have this one space where we have better accountability, where it, we have a more streamlined issuing process. Every one of our cadets has at least three sets of uniforms. Um, and the other thing is that she worked to secure, I don't know when the last time is that you were out at Sandy Hook, but the big broken down building where the roof had caved in. Remember, the Army pulled out of there in 1974, and a lot of those buildings have sat, sat empty ever since then. And the National Park Service just didn't have the funding to keep up with the regular preventive maintenance and keep the roofs intact. So this building is completely caved in all the way down to the basement now. And for years, we've been trying to get it rebuilt so it could be four naval science classrooms, an indoor drill deck, his and her locker rooms with showers, all things that we don't have right now. Um, we ran into problems with COVID and now funding issues. And we're hoping that one day that building is going to go out to bid so that the uh, future cadets of the Marine Academy can benefit from the work that is 1,000% because of the hard work that Lillian Barry did for our school and for the future, not only of our county, but of our nation. Uh, we would not be where we are today without her direct support. And I can't tell you how honored I am as a Monmouth County gal, as an MCVSD employee who reports to the commissioners, I can't tell you, and as Muriel Smith's daughter, I can't tell you how happy and how proud I am to be able to be here today. I'm just sorry that Lillian couldn't be here because I know that it is just eating her alive to not be with all of us today. So thank you to the DAR. Thank you for what you do to support. Um, I think I can speak for all of you. Yep. Thank you for what you do to support the military. Um, this is just an awesome, awesome thing today. Um, and especially for some of you who didn't get the thanks and didn't get the recognition that you deserved. I had it easy because of what you went through. Um, and it, it's never too late to say thank you. So thank you to all of you and thank you to the DAR. And thank you most of all. And for people that are still hungry, there's more here with the husband.